Events like this have allowed a lot of our, our, our local grassroots entrepreneurs to grass an opportunity to do a lot of sales. Um, it connects people back with the artists, especially after the pandemic. We've been in a, we pretty much have been at a standstill for the past two years. Um, so we haven't been able to have that interaction with our clientele. And so events like this starting up again have opened up those opportunities, of course, within a safe and social manner. A lot of things have changed as far as like really interacting with the customers. Um, before I, you know, I, I'd sit down with the customer and actually uh, come up with designs and work with them side by side. But you know, with the pandemic, uh, it's it, now I just be like, you know, just draw it on paper, and take a picture of it, and send it to me, so I have an idea what I'm gonna do. So it's affected it in that way. When they actually opened up the uh, flea markets on the reservation, it was such a blessing for us because we were hurt so bad for cash and so bad for business. It was, I mean, like we're a new company too, this is, and it, it affected us, so. A guy from uh, Oklahoma uh, became a real good friend of mine, and one time he told me we were sitting on the porch, and he told me, he says, you know, he says, you're full blood Navajo, you're over here in, in Oklahoma sharing your work here and he said what do you do when you get home and said, well when I get home I try to teach my, my elders and, and people back there what, what life is really like beyond beyond the four sacred mountains to get out there and really do something for yourself to do this you have to be very disciplined to get after it treat it like a job but it's a lot harder than getting paid every week every two weeks three weeks I'll be teaching in Holbrook at the dormitory um, teaching those students about my paintings and they'll be painting with me and I'll be teaching at the same time too so I'm glad I'm, I'm doing a lot of painting for myself and uh, it's for my family you know. It's good to see you here, young, younger artists. It's good for them and I'm glad they learn, they learn how to carry on some of the culture, some of the teaching that was provided for them. So. I encourage people to buy Navajo, buy local, and resource your local resources before looking outside of the reservation. This year has taught us a lot to stay grounded and to stay local. And I understand the, the areas of where we don't have those needs to meet, but we're getting there. We're getting there and our people are finally learning and accepting and have also adapted to the changes that have happened here throughout Navajo. So I'm trying to I just um, hope that you know we were able to continue to do this with the organization that is sponsoring. If this could be something more on a regular basis. Thank you for Navajo Nation Museum staff for putting all this up for local artists. We look forward to any type of venue to market our art.